nice. Now we just continue to do that forever. I guess today we are there with a meme deck that will be a new series that I will do. So playing meme decks that are not good but are at least funny. This one is actually funny for us, not for our opponent because it's literally the most toxic deck in the game. So what is the combo in this deck? The combo there, forge new bonds on the echo caster, so reduce it at one mana. Then uh, play Gleam Weaver on Forge New Bonds in the Void, so you remove Forge New Bonds from the Void. And then with the 1 mana Echo Caster and 5 mana Toast to Pieces, you continue every turn to Echo Caster and Toast to Pieces, so you stall the game forever. So we had the Divine Dearly Departed, so in the meantime, when you reach 9 mana, each turn that you Echo Caster and Toast to Pieces, you can even put a Dearly Departed, so you continue to eat uh, all your opponent creature, and even unexpected gift because you can heal every turn when you do that. So this is essentially the combo, then there are some cards that are anti-fatigue anti like Orfeo or Deuteria and so on. And then uh, we have other cards that are instead for stalling like Blade Borrowers, Beginning Blade, Lethargy Mage, and then we have some draw card. So this is literally how this deck works. You Try to store your game, try to draw your combo until the 5.5 mana. Then when you reach 5.5 mana, you play one, one mana card, you pip, so you reach 6 mana, and use your other 5 mana for jump that card in your hand and have a 1 mana echo caster. When you have that, you have just to use Gleam Weaver on your forging your bones and start to echo caster and toss to peace every turn. This will be a longer game, but it was even really funny. Hope you enjoy. And tell me if you like this type of series, and if you have more meme deck, just write to me in the comment, I will bring those. Okay, we're trying Mirror Deception versus that guy, and we already lost versus him, so... Mm, but I think we can win. I think we were unlucky, but because... Uh... Yeah, I mean, he has Cobra Chapter, so it's really a bad card for us. But I think we can win. Okay, Green Weaver is Ascension. And they have even cut it, so they can delay our combo and so on, but we will try. They literally always start with that, like, they, like that's crazy, not gonna lie, like, what the fuck? I go with this, I try to farm favor for each that, even if I think I will not, but... Play this, so he can't trade there. Should I even play that just for go faster and try to reach this? Like this is not even a win condition because if we find our combo, then we just start to mill so we don't draw anymore. The problem is that we have to find our combo and while we do that, this push like so many damage. And even flip is super problematic versus this this thing because they will just oh, obviously they have stone skin they will just make two damage each turn in that way so make sure you take it with uh, fucking scepter. We are going to really slow another time. So we have Toast and Green Weaver for pieces of our combo. We still need the Echo Caster and the Forge New Bones. Cutthroat is okay. They probably send away Toast. It's still okay though. Green Weaver, really? Like, I, I think I don't even need a Green Weaver for this combo. Because I just used Toast. I don't know. I think I don't need it. So we continue to try to rush them down and uh, to reach the relic removal. Like we are really near. Another time this fucking relic even on the sanctum. Like that's crazy. Barrows is probably okay.
Okay, next one we can reach that. Do we flip what we think? Two damage? Do we can send that way sending down from me the mark both are kinda trash? Okay, we want Echo Caster and we do want This is worst. Okay, so probably next turn play will be trade and toss. So we just mill all 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 those. We just bar all of those. We don't take this six free damage. the trade I draw two yeah we just do this so trade trade I take favor for that we draw two so we go to um, eight then we toss so we don't take damage of that we just bar some useless card and I do play this one so in this way I don't even mill uh, the forge new bonds if it's the next card at the bottom we have the other toast. Yes, other cover set really. No wait, what? Oh it barned other cover scepter? Okay, okay, so yes, no more cover scepter, finally. I don't know what this does, but pull all that spell, you know, friend, and okay. Jesus. So we just need to actually So we don't need this one anymore. Uh, I can go this and that. I need forge the new bonds though. With forge, I think we can go with the combo. We have only toss to that. That's a super fine for me. So, I think about this one. Double of those in flip. Seems okay. Where is Forge New Bones, guys? Like, what? Okay, Green Weaver is okay for the combo. <sighs> So I will keep double Echo Caster just because it they run cut out, so it can be good. That's super fine for me. Still really okay. We just literally need just the Forge that we are not finding, I don't understand why. Sadly. Okay, we find a bit. Uh, I think I can use a peep. Uh, Okay, so now we have our one mana Echo Caster, Gleam Weaver for uh, obliterate the Forge from the Void. So we can go Echo Caster, Gleam Weaver, and then uh, Toast. Okay, okay, we have our combo set up. Nice, nice. So now what can break us is probably Cutthroat. Yeah, Cutthroat seems a bad thing to be honest, but we'll see, we'll see. They already used one though. Let's see if we can have this infinite combo finally. Like I, I already lost the, like four match. Okay, so we use B for Green Weaver. So we obliterate the Forge and any other card. Then we go with Echo Caster on the left, and we toast. Nice. Okay. Now we just continue to do that forever. 
and uh, like every turn we give it put a gift now that we can not even that problematic to be honest like oh charm is actually a really good actually it doesn't matter because we don't play any creature out so they can't use charm they flip they continue to mill well, I don't understand why they are milling them themselves like we'll just run into the before like if you flip with a full end you will just mill see immediate toss a capture dance Uh, that's that's actually kind of problematic for us because now if they have the second cutthroat and send away our echo caster we can't have the infinite combo we need to reach this one anyway mm. I mean we have only 10 cards so we will probably anyway and they are making even less so it's probably better they continue to mill themselves and us they just mill everyone <laughs> what the fuck is this Okay, so we don't have Deuteria still in the end, so it's problematic because it's our our anti-fatigue thing, but actually I think it is okay because we continue to use mana every turn. And we have Dirty Departed, so we can eat all their creatures. So this is really important in this situation to play on the left your cards, because if you play on the right you will get Barrel and I will not have any more than my combo. In this way I have my combo. can play the mover but it's not useful so I will not play anything out I prefer to mill just because as I said he can have another charm so okay okay let's see let's see if we can forever kill them oh they want to mill us even more they just want to it's actually okay for me like like now we still have at the end uh, forging in bonds so that is the card we are interested in no, actually, it's not for the new ones, it's the other toast, I guess. Still, I think we're okay. So, a thing there that I didn't thought is that they actually have a flip, so they can't go in fatigue. So, our win condition is no more a win condition. So, actually, now our win condition will be. We'll be at 9 mana, Dearly Departed, so this is really good that we added the Dearly Departed to this list. Because without Dearly Departed, this game would be literally infinite, because if I leave those creatures, you probably just kill those. So in this way, instead, we will start at 9 mana to Dearly Departed each turn. So we will literally remove all their creatures, and then when he has no more creatures, we just play our own. I have one card at the end, I don't know what that is, but still okay. So from the next turn we can dearly depart at each turn. It's just, it's, it's funny just because he's super toxic, like what the fuck. Okay, they can flip as you can see. Now from this turn we can dearly depart it. See, we take Wither Finger. So they have literally just Wither Finger and Oni in their deck. Next turn we will take Oni and then we just go for a push and they have no more creature. Seems okay. But we have even to manage our creature because if he, if he is able to deal with my creature, I will just die. So if, if they are smart, they should just play, put both of their creatures there, so I can't obliterate those. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Hmm. I don't know how to deal with that though. How do I deal with those? Okay, for the moment, let's open, let's see if we, if we can... No, see, they, they, they have those... Why they have one diamond? But yeah, they sent away Oni. That's actually a problem, because now every turn they will just get for free this one. That's 
so I can keep forever them there. I can... I can hope they miss some time the flip. I don't know. Okay, let's let's see if they... Oh, they actually didn't play the, the this one. That is really important because this one was giving them infinite creature out of my toast because it has echo. In this way, we at least ended that. So we just have the Anima and Oni to take. They should just play everything each turn, to be honest. I don't know why they are not doing that. But yeah, this got power is literally the worst versus us. <laughs> Okay, we will try another time, last time, to steal something. Actually... Okay, okay, now they did. They understand how to play. Actually, uh, so, they should have in the deck both of the 1-1 one, one and the Oni. Now they continue to keep away the 1-1. One, one. So probably they have double creatures that are Oni and another good creature. Okay, so what I will do is uh, okay so you have some draw there to play for force them to draw their key through and start to burn those sadly i have not the mana for do this one this one so i think i just play a cast route or i can play this one so i will make them draw That's, that's a problem. It is okay because I will make them draw and then I eat another creature. Rapture, they, they actually played really well this one. So they can flip now. They played really well there. Mm. Yeah, they have nothing. So they're playing really well to be honest. But I I, I have need. So we just have to now another time just continue to roll all the gift like this will be forever so probably i will cut that or i will speed up fast so what i will do is to go to 30 with a lot of gift and then when i'm at 30 i go with the egg caster i take toast already my end so i can wind up in one turn deal the party then toast the same turn Okay, so we finally eat their fucking creature, so we can make them draw two now. Then it dearly departed. On their best creature. This Emberoni is the only creature they have, actually. And now we can do this. And that. Okay. This was easy. Now, next turn, we will play a caster, so we have a toast, so we can toss and dearly departed. They should just quit at this point, like... <laughs> they are flipping now. So we are sure that they have no more creature. So we just go with this one. Take the toast. So next turn we can toast dearly. And even with... This. 
Don't really care about the damage I can steal unexpected forever, so. Just a bit rich random card. Okay. So I think now we win because. Yeah, they can trade that. It's not a problem because we have the reduced one. They can even kill that. We just. We just uh, tossed. So we just tossed. Uh, Dearly departed. Toast. Dearly departed, so we eat that. And Echo Caster. So they have no more creature, they have just those two spell. So it kinda depends even from daily two spell if they can. Because if they can't deal with all my creature, I have a four creature, they have two spell. So I don't think they are able to deal with all my creature. Guys, it was like... <laughs> what a game. Yeah, GG. So we just have to... To chill. I don't know why I didn't, to be honest. Flip, I should, I should flip. Okay, I can do this. This and this. So they have literally one card. Like one card, guys. <laughs> Let's see what, what it is. What is just flip forever? Anyway, I can flip as well. <laughs> they, they thought we didn't know. They thought we didn't know. Finally, we were able to win again with this deck. So guys, this deck is obviously not a good deck, but it's really a good meme, and it's really toxic. I think this guy will just uninstall the game now. And yeah, just subscribe to my channel because I will bring more times this meme deck just for fun.